is up guys, from Seed to Stone here, and in this episode I'll be showing you how to start an indoor cannabis grow. I'll cover three different methods of germination which range from simple to advanced, and I'll start all three of our grows. The $100 space bucket, the mid-range tent, and finally the 10k advanced build. Well guys, I'm glad to be back. If you're wondering why there was such a break in posting, let me fill you in. Around a month ago, I started receiving emails from YouTube stating that my content broke their community guidelines. They removed a handful of videos off the platform and revoked the ability for me to post any forms of content for a period of time. Thankfully, I'm now able to post again, and the season can continue as planned. Because of events like this, it's incredibly important to make sure you're following one of my backup accounts. If you're not already, pause the video and check out the description where I have linked all my alternative ways to connect with me. Anyways, let's get back to the video. This season, I'm running three different strains, two feminized photo period varieties and one auto flowering variety. The photo period strains are Original Skunk, which will be grown in a space bucket, and Bruce Banger, which will be grown in the advanced tent. Lastly, I'll be running an auto flower, Ripley's OG, in the mid-range closet grow. In order to start these grows, I'll need to germinate the seeds. Now, germination is the process in which an organism grows from a seed or a similar structure. This initial growth forms what is called a seedling, and that eventually grows into a matured plant. Unless growing from clones, the only way to start a cannabis grow is to germinate cannabis seeds. So for the next part of the video, I'm going to walk you through three different methods of germination. The first method is one of the simpler ways of germinating, and that's planting your seed directly into the growing medium itself. Although it sounds easy, there are still some key environmental factors you'll want to consider that might impact how successful the germination process is. Cannabis seeds need two major things in order to germinate properly, moisture and warmth. Before I plant any seeds into my pots, I first moisten the medium with water. Once moistened, I use my finger to create a small hole and I place in the seed. Next, I lightly cover the seed up with some dirt and that's it. If you don't have a humidifier, place a cut plastic bottle over the seed's location to help hold the moisture in. I'll check the medium throughout the day to ensure that it's not drying out and I'll re-mist as needed. It's important to keep the soil moist at all times, but remember, you never want it to be wet like a mud puddle. You also want to keep it fairly warm. The ideal temperature for germination is around 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius. The next method of germination adds in a few more steps, however, it's still very easy. This is the method that you'd want to use if planning on growing in a DWC system like myself. You'll need a bucket with some water, a seed starter tray with a lid, a heating mat, and finally some rock wool cubes. To start, I unpackage the rock wool and break off a cube for every seed that I plan to germinate. In this case, I'm going to be starting 10 seeds. Next, I place the rock wool directly into a bucket of water that's been pH to 6.1. I'm going to let these soak in here for about 15 minutes. Next, I move the rock wool back into the starter tray and one by one I place in my seeds. After each seed is loosely placed, I take a small thin object, like a pen cartridge, and gently push the seeds deeper into the rock wool. Lastly, I pour water over the rock wool itself, as well well as add in some to the bottom of the seed starter tray. From here, I'll take my heating mat and starter tray and set it up in my grow room. All I have to do is plug the mat into a power outlet and place my seed starter on top. Throughout the day, I will check the seed starter to ensure that the rock will staying moist, and I'll also mist the inside of the lid to keep the humidity up as well. Now this last method is a method that I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with if you've been following me for a while now, and that's the paper towel method. Although this method is the most involved way of germinating, i found that it provides me the best germination rates of any method that I've tested before. To start, I first place my seeds into a cup of water. I personally use non-pH tap water, but if you want to be extra safe, use spring or RO water. Next, I place this cup in a dark warm area and let the seeds sit for about 18 to 24 hours. After 18 hours, all of 
of my seeds have started to show their tap roots and they've also sunk into the bottom of the cup. Using a spoon I carefully remove the seeds from the cup and I place them onto a paper towel. Once laid out I carefully space the seeds where they have a few inches between each other. Next I take the water from the cup and moisten the paper towel completely. Remember you want this moist but not wet. Now it's time to place the seeds into a ziploc baggie. And again I'm going to be placing them back into a warm and dark area. After two days had passed, it was time to check the seeds. I first removed the paper towels from the ziplock and I opened it up. I'm looking for tap roots that are at least one half of an inch long, but preferably three quarters to an inch in length. It looks like all but one are ready, which means that I can get to planting these autos into their medium. I went with Roots Organics Greenfields, which has a ton of beneficial elements mixed in and should carry the plants for the first 20 to 30 days. Now, auto flowers are a little bit different than photo periods in the sense you should plant autos directly directly into the pot you want to finish them in, which means no transplanting. So I use my finger to create a small hole and then I carefully place in the seed taproot down. Lastly, I cover the seed with a small bit of medium and then I repeat the process with the other two pots. Again, prior to planting, I did moisten the pots completely with water. This helps reduce the amount of interaction with the seeds for the first few days, which can greatly increase their success rate. The last thing I did was set my humidifier to an RH level of 70% and other than periodically watering, I'll let these girls be. Over the next few days, my seeds completed the germination process and I was left with nothing but new seedlings. The success rate of the first method was 50%. The first seed I planted ended up not sprouting, but the second one did which is why it's a little bit behind the rest. The second method had a 90% success rate with 9 out of the 10 seeds germinating and sprouting properly. The one that didn't sprout did start to germinate, however never broke the surface of the rock wool. Lastly, the third method was 100% successful. All 5 seeds germinated and sprouted successfully. Successfully. All of these methods are great ways to successfully start your grow, it's just about finding out what works best for you and what suits your needs. Although I prefer the paper towel method, I'm also a big fan of germinating in rock wool cubes. I find that it's incredibly easy to maintain the environment thanks to the plastic lid and heat mat, and it's also pretty low maintenance. These seedlings will continue to grow in this setup until a decent amount of roots have established and formed out towards the bottom of the cubes. As far as the soil method goes, what can I say? It's super low maintenance, and it's really simple. I'll be documenting this grow week by week. In each episode, all three grows will be featured, and I'll be taking you step by step through the entire process. If you guys would like to follow this series, make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. I'm going to be leaving links to all the products that I used in the video's description, so make sure to check that out if you're interested. If you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to press that thumbs up button below. You can get one-on-one -on -one help and further support the channel by visiting my Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash from sea to stone. I'll be seeing you guys next week with another update on these grows. As always guys, happy growing.